Annyeong! Welcome to L Sessions! The next set of formatting tools we're going to look at are called the alignment tools. They can be found in the home tab of the ribbon just to the right of the font group. Alignment basically means to change the positioning of your data within a cell. So for example, if I select all of my data over here, at the moment, some of it is left aligned and some of it are right aligned. If I click center align, some of it will move to the center. Right align, it will shift over to the right. And that looks okay for most of it, but what I'm going to do now is just select my region and make them left align. The alignment tools we've had a look at so far refer to all horizontal alignment. But in Excel, you can also change your vertical alignment. In other words, if things sit at the top, bottom, or center of the cell. So I'm going to click on my main heading here. I'm going to click on center align vertically. You'll see I can also vertically align to the top. But let's go for the center because it's really nice with our headings. Now, one of the problems you find in this worksheet, and indeed a lot of worksheets, is sometimes the data doesn't fit properly into the cell, just like this one. Sometimes, making the column wide is the best option. But in this case, I really don't want to. So, the other option available to me is to use something called wrap text. So, I'm going to select all my headings. Including this, come up and click on the wrap text. And what that has done is to wrap the text around in the cell where it doesn't fit. So it makes it more readable. Then if I center align that vertically and horizontally, my headings are now looking a lot better. Just after the wrap text tool is something called merge and center. This is really cool tool for making your headings sit nicely in the middle of your workbook. So I've got this big heading there, but even if I try to put it in cell E and center align it, it's still not going to be perfectly in the middle. So the alternative is to select all the cells that I would like to be in the middle of. And then merge them into one big cell and center the text. So. I do that using this merge and center. A slight word of caution with this though, make sure you only have one text in one of the cells, otherwise you could lose data. Let's say for example this one. I, I highlight this and merge it and center. It will form a message here. Let's click OK and you will lose the data. Let's undo that. There. Also, reserve this tool for headings. Don't try use this inside your data areas because later on, when you try and sort and filter, you'll run into problems. One last thing to look at in the alignment section, and that's the orientation tool. Coming back to the data of having very wide headings, but not wanting to have very wide columns, you can change their orientation. So I'm gonna select all of my headings here. Headings. 
and I'm going to turn off wrap text for a moment and then I'm going to come up to my orientation and I'm going to choose angle counterclockwise angle counterclockwise there what is done is actually angle the heading so it can fit the main beautifully without making the columns wider. If you don't want them hanging off the edge, another option is to rotate text up. There. There are a few other options that you can have a look at. Some of them quite good fun. Now, I'm going to put this back to how it was before because I think with this data set, that probably is our very best option. There. When you play around, see what you like best. 